So in episode four of The Detective is Already Dead, I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I'm glad that my crackpot theory of that being Siesta's eye and, you know, everybody that Kimihiko meets has a part of Siesta with them. I'm just glad that, that that's not the case. It just seems that Nagisa is the only one who has a part of Siesta within her. So I'm glad that's out the window. But what was cool about this episode is the fact that the Sapphire was right in front of us the whole time. And Kimihiko knew it. He called it out and they pulled the doohickeys out. Out on each other that in itself was tight as hell i wasn't expecting that but we'll talk about the rest of you know everything that happened later on in the video anyways what's going on everybody it's your boy damo senpai and we are here with episode four of the detective is already dead if you are new to the channel and have yet to subscribe make sure you go down below hit that link in the description or the red subscribe button either one to help me towards that cause of reaching my goal which is to become a full-time content creator that's always like my little introduction to the video because well i mean that's my goal one of my other goals is to actually go to japan experience the culture and you know do weeb shit there i'm so excited for when that happens but we gotta get our channel off the ground and by off the ground i literally mean off the ground and back to where we were originally which was 3,000 subscribers which was absolutely insane so let's keep dropping videos let's keep growing as a family a unit a channel a community and then we'll probably be able to do that in a year's time share this with people who love the detective is already dead share this with people who love light novels share this with people who love anime or just anything in the weave culture but anyways enough of that and let's jump into the detective is already dead because i want to cover some key points that kind of blew me away and had me happy at the same time essentially what had me the happiest was the fact that siesta's body parts just isn't you know they're not flying around everywhere they're not being shipped from country to country and being sewn into people at random right i'm just glad that that whole theory is out of the window another one of the key moments moments in this anime is the fact that Kimihiko already knew what the deal was. He already knew that she was setting them up. He already had everything set ahead of time. And it's like he, you know, he's coming to life with every case that we saw. And the more time that he spends with Nagisa, the more, you know, he wakes up and you can see life come back to his eyes. And he doesn't look as dead as he did. And what was that? Episode two? So kudos to that. Key moment number two three what is this three that's gotta go to yui right yui set them up and yui came off as such a nice kid right didn't come off as a manipulator didn't come off as somebody who was willing to hold a doohickey up to one of the greatest detectives ever well one of the greatest watsons ever but he's on his way to becoming a great detective that whole situation was super fucked up because she was threatened she was threatened with the fact that if you don't get these two killed and obviously that has to do with the organization that more than likely killed siesta and didn't have a chance to kill kimihiko and they basically said like look if you don't kill them we're gonna take your eye from you the eye that you hold the most precious the eye that your parents gave you and the fortune that they left you that shit was so fucked up and she couldn't go through with it right you could tell like her instinct was to not do it because she's a child her manipulation skills were really good but you know, she couldn't carry through because she knew, like she knew in the bottom of her heart, from the bottom of her heart that they weren't her enemies. So she was stuck with what do I do, right? What do we do in this situation? And she made the right choice by accepting Nagisa's proposal of becoming friends with them too, because now they have an alliance in the form of, hey, if they fuck with you, they fuck with us. And they won't be able to get to you because you're gonna be with us. They're forming their own like little detective agency, right? We got little Yui with us. We got Nagisa, we got Kimmy hiko and then we're gonna meet charlotte next episode and from the looks of it she got hands so we got the brains of the agency which is kimihiko we got the brawn of the agency which is going to be charlotte we have the heart of the agency which is going to be nagisa and then we got our mascot aka the batman of the agency and that's yui so we're like i said we're essentially forming our own detective agency and that's going to be so sick if that's how it plays out that's my guess right now because it just feels like that's the route they're taking and like i said as an avid anime 
watch it like when you watch over like 400 plus anime you're just kind of like able to put the plot together but we'll save that for a different discussion let me know if you enjoyed this episode of the detective is already dead down in the comments section below if there's anything that i missed out on make sure you let me know in the comments as well starting conversation down there is always a key point of the video so feel free to leave all that information down there as always i'll be in the comments perusing i'll be in the comments you know replying and whatnot to stuff that makes sense leave a like if you enjoy subscribe if you're new and as always it's your boy damo senpai and i will see you guys in the next video